one-of-a-kind encounter, an unstoppable move of the Holy Spirit, heaven intervening in your affairs. Receive life in the name of Jesus. It's Glory Reign 2023. God of miracles, vengeance for all round victory. Vengeance for all round victory. By redemption, we are ordained to be envied. People shouldn't pity us. He said, You're a chosen generation. First Corinthians 2 9. A royal priesthood and holy nation. God sees you as a chosen person. He sees you as a nation. You are not a non-entity. He said you are the salt of the earth. That means you are too important that without you the world lose taste. He said you are the light of the world. That means without you there will be darkness. But how come things are not like that? Something must be wrong somewhere. He said for the plans I have towards you are plans of good. Another view to give an expected end. Jeremiah 29 verse 11, 1 Corinthians 2 verse 9, Matthew 5, 13 and 14. The reverse of says, I know the plans I have for you, say the Lord. Plans for welfare, not of evil, for to give you a future and a hope. So I have an enviable future. And Isaiah 43 verse 7. He said, everyone that is called by my name, I have created them for my glory. I have formed him. Yea, I have made him. So everyone created by God is for his glory. He said, I am come. <laughs> you know what he said in John 10, 10, the B part? He said, I came, the Amplified Classic. I came that they may have and enjoy life. Let us say carefully. Christianity is for enjoyment. Oh, if anybody say it's for you to endure, it's a lie. This is my Bible said. I, Jesus speaking, not me. I'm not the one who wrote it. So in case you are... Yeah, I said, David Bime, it's not David Bime, this is Jesus who spoke. He said, the thief, Satan came in order to see to kill and destroy. That is devil's agenda. But he said, I came that, King James, he said, I came that they may have, and what? My friend, anything connected to enjoyment is not of God. And have it in abundance to the full till it overflows. Overflowing enjoyment. You are not created for enjoyment. But for what? This is the Bible. Don't be religious. God said this is what. So anything contrary to this is not God's plan for you. It's right here. You are there to be a blessing and not a liability. You are there for glory, not shame. But hear this. You don't fold your hands to watch your life drag to the mud. From the days of John, the kingdom of God suffered violence. If these are not working, you react. Matthew eleven twelve. 12. Get angry enough to engage the violence of faith to invoke vengeance upon all the forces of wickedness resisting your redemptive rise. Say with me, we're in the days of vengeance of our God. Listen, you know, many of us don't read the Bible. Even people who preach, they read the Bible like theologians. I have heard people who want to live and say, vengeance is not correct. They don't read the Bible. They read the Bible from back. You know, you must be a Bible student. That you have PhD does not mean you're a Bible student. Some people don't understand the Bible. Don't understand what? They, 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 they say, no, 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 no. It's not correct. Some people go on to to debate what is written in the Bible. Like, I'll show you from the Bible. So in case you have that mentality, you too, you come out of it. No, this kind of preaching is not for me. In this wicked world, this wicked world. This wicked world. If you leave the Christianity of a lamp here, Jesus went to the cross as a lamp. He never left the cross as a lamp. He left as a lion. Please read the Bible well. He went to the cross as a lamp. That's why they killed him. He never left there as a lamp. Oh, read your Bible. He left as a lion of the tribe of Judah. So which nature? You, if you want to go to the cross to die, then go. He has died for you. He said, now that I've died, you don't die like me. Some of you are still carrying lamp nature in a wicked world. Thank you. Thank you. Let me read something for you. You know, some of you are very religious. 
Today. He said, and Isaiah, listen carefully. Read, I will read the scripture. Let me read Luke and then read Isaiah and Luke so you understand. Let me read Luke first, 4, 18 to 20. Luke 4, 18. The spirit, this is Jesus speaking. This is Jesus speaking. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because it anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. You read, so you, you won't forget. Because if only we read, some of you forget. One to go. Because he anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and the corrupt side to the blind, to set a liberty to them that are bruised. Verse 19. To preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Verse 20. And he closed the book and gave to the ministers and sat down, and the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fast. The place is stopped was the acceptable year of the Lord. He said, this is where my ministry stopped. He closed the book. Isaiah 61. The same thing is repeated. Isaiah was prophesying two dispensations, Jesus and the Holy Spirit. See how it is. He said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. This is, Isaiah is prophesying what Jesus, he was prophesying. Because the Lord has anointed me to preach the good tidings up unto the meek, he has sent me to bind up the broken heart. He remember the same thing we read. To proclaim liberty to the captives and open the prison to them that are bound. To proclaim what? If you see that there's a command here. This is where the ministry of Jesus stopped. Then he said, and, which means something came after that. This is the dispensation of the Holy Spirit. He said, and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort those of them who are going through stress. As to know, say, after I am gone, the next one coming, he won't forgive. You see, we have non Bible students miss it. They say, Jesus was not like that. Jesus, they slap him. That was Jesus. He came to die for our sins. He said, I'm going. This time, if they try to slap you, slap them back. <laughs> they have given me every slap. I've taken on your behalf. Don't allow anybody. Look, listen. You read the Bible, you take one. He said, you took our sins, not so? So you will not carry sins. You took your sickness. They, they slapped him, so they should slap you back. They killed him, so they won't kill you. People don't read the Bible. Jesus paid every price, so I will not go through it. So if you go through it, then you don't understand the Bible. He died, so you won't die. Where did you read the Bible from? So you believe that he died for your sins. He refused to commit sin. But they should kill you. He said, that's Christianity. That Jesus died. So he said, we should die. Die! I won't follow you for that kind of Christianity. If you like, go back preaching. preach with <laughs> One man remaining for him to call my name, David Miomia, the one I'm talking to on television. He said, no, these pastors were saying, when they slap you, slap back. We don't believe that gospel. Right? Let him believe. Mio, this is my gospel. It's what you believe. The stone Stephen, he believed that they would die. He died. The stone Paul, Paul said, I don't believe. It depends on the person. Will be. If you believe that they should be killing you, go and die. Mio, I don't believe that gospel. How many will follow me in my kind of gospel? Oh, man. Uh, say that, that somebody, so now somebody will go carry a gun, point to you. He said, God forgive him. Ta! Ta! What kind of Christianity is that? Before you bring gun, if I get gun, I'm going to fire you back. <laughs> when we get to heaven, <laughs> now if killing is wrong, why did God tell David to go and fight? So God is committing sin. He told the children, fight them and kill all of them. That means God committed sin. If you say killing is wrong, when somebody is out to kill you, I don't mean just killing somebody. Who, hey, you on internet? Don't misquote me. <laughs> I said when somebody wants to kill you, don't misquote me, please. Before you misquote me, take time. I'm taking vengeance. You go fire you. <laughs> so don't misquote me. If you misquote me, you're in trouble. <laughs> if killing is wrong, God won't tell the Jews to go and kill the Amalekites. Then God is wrong to say that God should say to keep people. Then he's saying he's, he's committing sin. I said God is committing sin. My friend, somebody wants to kill you. Don't stay there. Then say, not church, na, not church, na, not church. What kind of church is that? Nobody's this kind of our church. Before you fire, I fire you. <laughs> this kind of gospel, not everybody likes it though. Uh, some people did there and they did for TV. They say, you know, after it's going to kind of preach, you can see some people get different opinions. I mean, forget them. They don't know where they go. 
Now, what God is saying is this. It implies that the later day church begins with vengeance of our God. Begins with what? Comfortable life can only emerge after vengeance is executed. Until God cleared Pharaoh and his army, Israel could not be free. In the same way, then, our comfort is not near until vengeance answers. Therefore, to watch your life pressed down and sat upon by the wicked is ignorance. Is what? Ignorance. Our God is a two-sided God. <laughs> Many don't know that we serve a two-sided God. Now here, First Samuel 2, 6. You read it. One to go. This God himself. One to go. Is this God? So are you holier than God who say, I kill? If killing is a sin, then God has committed sin. This is the Bible. The Lord kill it. If you say to kill is a sin, this is the Bible. Tear it off from your Bible. He said, God kills so. Don't think that. Who killed Herod? Who killed Pharaoh? Are you holier than God? Okay. He said, He makes those who are good alive. But the ones who say, No, I'll pursue my children, I'll pursue them. Psalm 7. 9 to 10. I was asking God, he said, preach this gospel. <laughs> I'll end with it. He said, end with this, this preaching. It's God who gave me this preaching to end with it. Because wickedness is too much. He said, oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. I decree today, every wickedness against you is ending now. In the name of Jesus. But establish the just for the righteous God try the hearts and reels. He said, my defense is of God which saved the upright in heart. 11b. And God is angry with the wicked including today. Every wicked against you, the anger of God will follow them in the name of Jesus. If he turn up, he will wet his sword. He had burned his bows and made it ready. He had also prepared for such wicked people the instruments of death. He ordained his arrows against the persecutors. Everyone persecuting you and I dies as I'm talking in the name of Jesus. Dead. We follow them if you believe in the name of Jesus. Shout a loud amen if you're a child of God. In Psalm 81, if you read 10 to 16, I'm the Lord that God will brought out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth. Why? You know, some of us, our Christianity, I don't understand though. Somebody go look, he's going to kill you. He's going to give me. What kind of Christian are you? He said, open your mouth wide. He said, but my people will not hearken to my voice. Religious people, they have been existing since. And he said, will not mind. He said, I soon give them up their own laws. You know, you, you, all your philosophy and ideology not working. They work in their own, they work in their own what? Cancer. That means they are working their own ideology. You know, this kind of Christianity these days, you know what you're going to do? Well? Jesus said, when they slap you, I turn the other side. <laughs> but if you don't have another side for them to slap. They read the Bible upside down. Oh, that my people are hearkening unto me and Israel has walked in my ways. I just soon have subdued their enemies and turned my hand against their adversaries. My sister, he said, he should have fed them with their own finest of the wheat and with honey out of the rock. Should I have satisfied them? Because I would have given you good things if you have dealt with these people. Are you hearing me now? You are into a business. You are seeing wicked men sit to your destiny. You are saying, God, get, get. every area there are wicked people. Every aspect of life. There are people who just don't like children of God. So people if you are going to church now today, they are very angry. It's every time, church, 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 church. God is saying, before you will be fed with the best of the earth. 
that the earth offers. You have to employ the force of vengeance. The Jews, for instance, in the days of Esther and her uncle Mordecai, no good thing could come until Haman was hung. Check anywhere good thing came, somebody has to be removed. Anywhere good thing came to the children of God, one wicked person must go. Where there is no clearing, there cannot be lifting. In Esther chapter 7 verse 10, the verse, and they hanged Haman on the gallows that they had prepared for Mordecai. Then was the king Lord pacified. The moment they hung him, look at chapter 8 verse 15 and 16. And Mordecai went out from the presence of the king in royal apparel of blue and white and with a great crown of gold and with a garment of fine linen and purple and the city of Shushan rejoiced and was glad. The Jews had light and gladness and joy honey. Stop being, stop being religious. Tell your neighbor, stop being religious. Say to your neighbor. Wicked Haman was first destroyed before Mordecai was decorated. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Say with me, every wicked man stopping my progress. Today, you must clear. For me to be decorated. He said he has made us kings and priests and we shall reign on the earth. Anyone stopping your reigning, I decree they go today. Anyone saying you will not ascend to God's place for your life, I decree judgment on them now. In the name of Jesus. That man who has positioned himself or herself to become an human on your life will today be hung by God. They will clear for you to be decorated. They will clear for you to be blessed. They will clear for you to rise. If you believe it, your amen will confirm it. Tell me no one on the path of my destiny that wants to stop me from rising that will not be cleared by God. I have opened my mouth wide against all those forces. I cause them in the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Clear from my path. Amen. Now hear this. It is our duty to invoke vengeance. He said, Oh Lord God, Psalm 94, verse 1. To whom vengeance belongeth. Oh God, to whom vengeance belongeth. Show thyself. Say, God will show himself. Say it one more time. Now, you read this scripture, but many of you don't understand it. He said, No weapon formed against me shall prosper. You are quoting, but you don't, you don't understand it. Don't quote scripture, you don't understand. Now listen, listen carefully. And every tongue that rises up against thee in judgment will condemn. But you are saying, oh God, oh God, God say, you condemn. Not God. You see why we miss it? Well, oh God, God say, condemn and I will confirm. Say, listen, if you don't say it, God can't confirm it. We, 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 most times we think that God, now nah, listen, I keep saying it. You, you don't expect God to do what you have not declared. A young man was so notorious in the eastern part of Nigeria. It's called Osikanku. This young man terrorized the eastern part. I mean, he was killing. They would rape women. You heard the one they say in Gabon? Well, those kind of people, they are dead as I'm talking. So wickedness is everywhere. It's a global problem. This young man was a terror. People were afraid to move freely in the east. Part of Nigeria. If you're coming from a city, they call a buy a buy in Nigeria to Port Harcourt. The person will have to be praying to arrive safely. Every day they were kidnapping, killing, kidnapping, and one day, shot at the car of a young man who walked with, with, with me. I saw the bullets on the car. I said, what happened? He said, Osikanko is the one. He was coming from Abai. He went to Abai on a private, not official, private thing, and he was coming. They told him to stop, and he refused, so they opened fire. 
at that time, I say, this man enough. I came here with this kind of ministration. Don't, don't be religious. If you're religious, I permit you to go, go to another place. But if you're in this meeting today, everybody against you must go down. Please, it's not by force for you to be here. You can go. If, if, if you're online, don't like it, off it. But if you want me to minister the way I want results in your life, I get angry when a Christian is being insulted. Because we are the same body of Christ. Anglican, no matter the denomination, we are the same body of Christ. I hate for a sinner to come and insult you. For what? I, I got out and I came on the altar on a Thursday and I said, Osi Kanko, if you don't die this weekend, I'm not a man of God. On a Thursday, by Friday, was killed. And I decreed this day anyone who has vowed to kill you dies as I'm talking now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So you have to condemn. You have to what? Then God will. You don't wait for God. You say, thou shalt condemn. He said, this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And I said, me, say the Lord. Another young man called, I've told you so much, Don Wani. This young man was a terror in a place called Omoko, River State, Nigeria. They were killing people like chicken. Between Ahoda and Omoko, it was a no-go area. It became a den of kidnapping. And then on the 31st night, innocent people coming from church, he shot them. They were not members of our church, but when you touch one, you touch all. They told me they killed some people coming from church. I said, if this man, people leave him, he would think that he's, he's unkillable. I came on the altar and I said, the one day I give him seven days. I was specific. I said, seven days. Exactly seven days he was killed. So God is saying, you say it. If David never said to Goliath, you are circumcised Philistine, God would have killed Goliath. I'll give you one minute though, because I'm, you'll be doing the practical. It's not your life. At the end, you'll pray heavy prayer. When you finish today's exam, you are passed. I don't want you to go 2023 like other years. Every evil must be cleared. There has to be bulldozing before construction. You don't construct when you have things on the road. You clear them. Get up one minute. And say every evil, every evil. against my life. Yes. Give it a specific date. Say in seven days, in three days, I clear you. Go ahead in the name of Jesus. Be specific in the name of Jesus. Be specific in the name of Jesus. Every devil against my life, against my destiny, against my family, in seven days, you are dead. Every tongue that has up against me, I cast that tongue in the name of Jesus. Jesus' mighty name. You may be seated. It says, Suffer not a witch to live. Exodus 22, verse 18. Someone has said you will not get married. I want to say to you, that person will clear for you to get married. They have said you will not get a good job. I'm talking with authority. God will clear them for you to get a good job. They have said you will never occupy that office. I decree you will occupy that office. Everything they've said, contrary to God's plan for your life, God will turn it in the name of Jesus. Amen. What are the weapons of vengeance? You know, if you're going to a war, they say this AK 47. This is artillery. <laughs> they give them different, different weapons. So, what are the weapons? I wrote a book. 
Force of Vengeance. Better eat that book. Better to give you a copy. When it says, 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 the best way to be in this world is to be on the offensive. <laughs> to be on the what? Offensive. Why are you on the offensive? People don't come near you. They say, oh boy, that one no will forgive you. In, it's not in the syllabus of forgiveness. Can an arm robber go to rock? Why? <laughs> it will come back alive. Can I say, I'm the arm robber of Nigeria. I'm going to ask Sorok. It will not come back alive. True? Yes. When you're on the offensive, the enemy leaves you. But he knows that any attempt, he will not survive. What that, number one weapon? Understand your new status. Understand what? Your new status. God is jealous of you. <laughs> hey. Many of you think to be born again. God is so jealous of you. Say, he's jealous, jealous of me. Say, God is jealous of me. In Luke 18, verse 7, he said, And shall not God avenge his own elect? Are you a child of God? You are the elect of God. Which cried day and night unto him, though he bear long with them. As many as received him, to them gave him power to become what? So sons are not permitted to be touched. Sons cover daughters. The you know, Bible does not use daughters and daughters. When we say sons, talk about that. Do you know if you're a son of God, you are not permitted to be touched? Hear yeah, what God said. Exodus chapter 4. 22, 23. God said, and thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thou saith the Lord, Israel is my son. Are you a son of... <laughs> Even my firstborn, and I say unto thee, verse 22, let my son go, that he may serve me. If thou refuse to let him go, behold, I will slay thy son, even thy firstborn. And there was cry in every house of the Egyptians, because they tried to touch the firstborn Israel. Are you born again? That's why I made altar call before the preaching. I have my reasons. Are you a child of God? Are you a child of God? Are you a child of God? Say I'm untouchable. Say I'm untouchable. If God will go this far in the Old Testament, we're in a better covenant. Every, you, don't get tired though. This is practical school. Get up. Say because I am a son. If you're a daughter, I'm a son or a daughter of God. If God, you went that far for Israel. I am, I am of the New Testament. Anyone, Anyone. who has posed himself to be a Pharaoh over, over my life, throw the arrows now. You go ahead, name of Jesus. Jesus mighty name. He said, let my son go. Whatever is stopping you, today God will destroy all of them. Amen. That agent of the devil that said, no, you will not rise. This is their last day in the name of Jesus. 
whoever's vow to touch you as God's firstborn, they will not live to see this time next week. In Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. Number two weapon. Revelation. Number two weapon is what? Many of us read this scripture, Genesis 12, verse 3. <laughs> I will bless them. God was speaking to Abraham. I was speaking to who? I will bless them that bless thee. And cause him that cause said thee. I will bless anyone that bless you. And anyone dare to cause you, I will cause him. This is God, not me. And the other farms of the shall be blessed. Now listen carefully. <laughs> we serve a two-sided God. Is anyone that bless you say, God bless you, I love you, I'll bless him. But anyone that go to the bar, I'm going to deal with him, I'll deal with him. What is said to Abraham in Galatians 3.29? Now, read the scripture. You now read. Want to go? So what is said to Abraham is said to you if you're in Christ. And what is said to Abraham? I will bless those who bless you. And I will cause those who cause you. Is that your Bible? Yes. Lift your right hand and say from today. From today. Whoever, blesses me Whoever blesses me is blessed. Is blessed. And anyone that says I curse this person. Yes. Anyone who dare to curse me. Yes. Release the curses. It's curse. Release the curses. Open your mouth and curse them. Anyone that cursed me is cursed. Anyone that curses me is cursed. Anyone that curses me is cursed. In the name of Jesus, whoever curses me is cursed. Whoever curses me is cursed. In Jesus. Mighty name. Number three weapon is superiority mentality. Superiority what? Many don't know Psalm 110 verse 2. The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. It's a rule thou in the midst of thy enemies. God said in the midst of your enemies rule. Do what? Have a mentality that you are in charge. He said, Thou, why are thou mindful of man? God is mindful of you. That was the mentality of David. <laughs> David was not big in stature. Goliath, Goliath means giant. But David had the mentality that God is backing him. He said, You this uncircumcised Philistine. I'm superior to you. <laughs> and what? He had a superiority mentality. Can I tell you something? If you are born in Israel from childhood, they will be reading some scrolls to the child. So if you meet a pure, natural Israeli, they have a superiority mentality. That's why if they go into any country, they stay, in one, they stay separate and they stay in very expensive areas of the country. Anywhere they are. They... they in one day, we say they brainwash them. They make them know that they are not second class citizens. If an Israeli with all humility meet a man from the other side, which I will not call, you will never see an Israeli do like this. You will shake him like this. They tell them, These people are your servants. They have, they, they make them believe that anybody from the other side, the uncircumcised, is under them. Then by covenant, you, a New Testament is really a Jew. Your mentality should be big. I hear some of them say, don't mind the infidel. Who is, who is the real infidel? That's an insult to call you. The real infidel is the infidel. How can an uncircumcised man call a believer infidel? That's an insult. That's what? That's insult. If you want to win in warfare, carry a mentality of superiority. That every devil should be mindful of me. 
And from today, they will look at you and be afraid of you. When they see your name, fear will shake them. Anywhere they call, now listen, we are ministering here and physical fire caught a tree. You saw it? Physical fire caught a tree in Kokano Goni. I don't know where they've taken your name to. For evil. As I'm speaking, a thunder will strike there. Fire will engulf the shrine. Fire of the Holy Ghost will engulf the shrine. Fire will strike the witch doctor. It will kill the evil man. Kill the evil woman. I command the fire of the Holy Ghost over that place. In the name of Jesus. The fourth weapon is faith. Is what? Faith. Faith is a major weapon. Now listen. <laughs> Daniel chapter 6, 23, 24. Look at this scripture. Then was the king exceedingly glad for him and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel, you know, they accused Daniel falsely. How many of you know the story? And you threw him into the lion's den. I'm going somewhere. Daniel has so much faith in the God he served. And I was taken out of the den and no man of God was found upon him because he believed in his God. How many of you believe God? How many of you believe that God will fight for you? And the king commanded. And they brought those men which accused Daniel. How many of you have been accused falsely? They, they frame you up over what you don't know. They sit up and cook stories that I don't exist. That's why I'm telling you on the internet, be careful. If you frame someone like me, you go die. Oh, oh you go die. I don't care. You, think you, you don't need to write your name. God knows you. So be careful. There are people you don't write about. Hear me even as you're hearing me. If you think you can write about me over what is not true, Abba, I will pray you and I yell. Your father, your mother, your generation will be wiped off. They accused Daniel falsely. And the king called, he brought the men that have accused Daniel. He said, bring them. And they cast them into the den of lions. Them, their children, and their wives. And the lions had the mastery of them and break all their bones in pieces. Or ever they came at the bottom of the den. I'm going to show you something. You are going to pray after now. Follow me. Daniel 3, 20 to 22. You know Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and to cast them into the burning fiery furnace. Then these men were bound in their coats, their hogs, and their hats, and their other garments, and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent, the furnace exceeding hot, the flame of fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and what? Because they had faith in who? In God. Now, turn with me to Proverbs 26, 27. Read it together. I want to go. Now, I gave you those other two stories to prepare you. They prepared that Daniel should die. They died. They prepared that Shabbat Nagel should be born. They got born. I say, is that ticket a pit? You are going to decree now. Anything anybody has planned to me, it will return back to whatever they planned from, it will happen to them as they. Are you ready? Go ahead and pray in the name of Jesus. Whatever evil. They are planning against me.
Whatever evil anyone is playing against me, return to where you, you said that. Whatever stone you roll, it will go back. Every evil shall return back to sin. In Jesus' mighty name, whatever evil anyone has planned against us, it will return back to them. In the name of Jesus. Number five. Are you getting blessed? I told you, there's a way that exam you must pass. The name of Jesus. The name of what? Many think the name of Jesus is just a slogan in prayers. No, it's more than that. In Matthew 21, 44, it says, whosoever shall fall on this stone. Who is the stone? You know, it's a master. The stone with the builders of the church. Is that all about Jesus? Shall be broken. Shall be what? That means if they want to attack you, they'll be broken. He said, in the name of Jesus, they'll be broken. But on whosoever shall fall, shall grind him to. So whichever way, they'll come against you, wahala. You come against them, They say, I'll deal with this man. Trouble. you deal with them. Trouble. I've given him a name which is above every name. The name of Jesus, armed robbers will bow. Amen. Kidnappers will bow. Amen. Hired killers will bow. Amen. Head killers will bow. Amen. So the name of Jesus has the capacity to destroy the wicked and their hearts. Philippians 2, 9 to 11. You see, in the name of Jesus, every form of wickedness and their hearts be what? Destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will go. Bam! That time they threw on you will go back. Yeah. In the name of what? Jesus. Short and sharp. You know what I'm giving you? If I say prayer after you, forget many things. The point you forget them because sometimes you write, write. So this one, talk, do. Write, do. Take note, do. So straight, straight. They give you mark. If I say at the end, pray. Most of you will not even remember what to pray. By the time I give all these points, you go forget. So when I finish one, you throw it. Finish another one, you throw it. Life go well. This is the gospel me I like. I like this gospel. I like this. Listen, I'm not kidding. Even if I, if, if I wasn't a pastor, there are some places I won't go. Place where you go, just go say, Father, forgive our brother, so I don't go go. That if I if I know the pastor, I won't go to that kind of church. Go, no, go. He say, Father, forgive these arm robbers where they rob people. Oh. Da, da. When I used to watch television, news, now nah, I don't watch news, I watch football. When I used to watch them, one day they shot in an American church. So police were asking them, what do you think about what this man who came to shoot people? Then reach up came and said, no, God should just forgive him. I off my TV. <laughs> I turned off my TV. I just turned off my TV. Said, Somebody came to shoot to shoot. He said, God should forgive him. I turned my TV off. I said, what kind of is that? They said, God should forgive him. We are praying that God should have mercy on him. I said, Chineke. <laughs> on the man who came to keep him inside church. God should forgive him. That madness that carried him, you know, killing people, won't ask people. Okay. Me, I don't believe the person you come and shoot, though. Before you shoot. Before you shoot. Don't do that kind of Christianity. Oh. You will go to heaven, oh, but you will go like, last, like uh, Stephen. I don't want to go to heaven like that. I want to go to heaven complete. Not with bullet wounds, God forbid. Why will you go to heaven with bullet wounds? <laughs> Even the people will be bragging. They say, no, we are very tough. We are very tough. But when they want to do their hand with that, they say, no, no go there. That man, if he try, if he try, your hand go paralyze. You're going to move freely. Do you know when you are very tough, you move free? Okay. Rise, my friend. 
He said, in the name of Jesus, every evil against my life, include demonic forces. I come against you. Now take the name and claim demonic forces against you. Jesus' mind in him. Weapon number six, the Holy Spirit. The Holy what? John chapter 16, 7, 8, and 11. Many people don't know the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Listen, never that I tell you the truth. It is been that I go away. For if I go not away, the covenant will not come. We all know he has come. Not so. Look at verse 8. Look at verse 8. Many don't know what the Holy Spirit does. They only take one part. Now, when he's come, we all know he's come. He will reprove the word of what? We all know this part, true? Of righteousness. This is where many people stop. Church people, this is where they stop. They think the Holy Spirit is only sin and righteousness. Read the next one. They don't see this part. This is the part we are doing today. They, they will tell you, no, you know, don't commit sin. You live a righteous life, correct? They stop there. They stop there. So the people, people insult them anyhow. The Holy Spirit is also a spirit of who? He judges. Look at the verse 11. Of judgment because the prince of this world is judged. So the Holy Ghost judges the devil. He judges who? That's why I said when the enemy shall come like a flood, fire can catch on a tree. He judged him there. Okay, listen. If it was the time of Jesus, Ananias and Sapphira wouldn't have died. Peter said, are you telling me the truth? They say yes. He said, come on. You are not telling me. They died inside church. Church grew. Church did what? If it was the time of Jesus, you remember when they said, can we call fire? Jesus said, no, don't call fire. I came to die for the world. That's, you see the translation? The same Peter who Jesus was not allowed to call fire, people died when he was talking. So people don't know. Why did Peter kill inside church? Peter, he said, you, you're telling me, die. You know, people don't read Bible and understand Bible. They only take one part. They throw away to that part. Now, a man called Elimas in Acts 13, 9 to 12. I like Paul. Oh, Paul kind of crusade this type I like. <clears throat> then Saul, who also is called Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost, set his eyes on him. He said, and said, oh, full of all subtlety. And all mystery, thou child of the devil. Thou enemy of righteousness, would thou not cease to pervert the righteousness of the Lord? He said, and now behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thee. Thou shalt be blind. You know why he told the man to be blind? Paul knows about blindness. <laughs> you know, he was blind for three days. So he knows when somebody is blind, how the person will behave. So he said, I suffer blindness for three days. So what I will give you is blindness. Not, <laughs> he said, not seeing the sun for a season. And a season can be a lifetime. A time to be born and a time to die is a season. <laughs> he said, listen, bring it back. And immediately there fell on him a mist and a darkness. And he went about seeking some to lead him by the hand. I got some for at that time, he said, then the deputy, when he saw what was done, believed, being astonished at the doctrine of the Lord. Verse 13, finally. Now, Paul and his company lose, so far, it's okay. Now, the moment Paul did that, the man was preaching to us, said, true, true, this gospel is real. 
There are places you go to preach. If you don't show this kind of sign, they won't believe. I went to a place called Bayasa, Nigeria, and I saw a demonstration of the devil being assaulted. And I, I saw people, they worship a deity, they call it Gbesu, and they were, they were exhibiting the Gbesu like it's God. I said, shut up! I said, if a Gbesu exists here, I, I kill you at the Gbesu here. When I made altar call, the stadium, more than 70% came out when they saw a demonstration of raw power. How can you be a Christian? Somebody around you is boasting of a cult and they say, <laughs> hey God forgive her now. What kind of Christianity is that? That is not church. Don't tell me. Paul said, you devil. You mean you come here to distract me? Be blind. Life story. I took the books of a man. He initiated a, a person. The woman happens to be a man. My husband was close to the man. The man, a very wicked, demonic man. He kept a lecturer like a houseboy. You've not seen evil men do something though. He just hypnotized the man. The lecturer will now be serving drink to the man's girlfriends. If anybody talk, he will call the person. So they brought the occultic books and I burnt them. In the spirit, the man knew that I burned the books. So in the night, like a hawk came like this, Wah! to attack me. I will never forget, 1997, when I just came newly to Portacourt. I woke up. It's, God told me, say, that man you burned books, his boss is the one doing this. I stared up. And I got angry. And I said, the man should go paralyze. That was the word I used. The same week, he paralyzed and died with paralysis. Paul said, be blind. This time, you say, Holy Spirit. When, when it comes to anointing, I'll use it very well. You say, Holy Spirit, you know all things. You know whatever. Whether it's Satan himself. He said, the prince of the, including Satan. Anywhere Satan and agents are vowed to make my life miserable. You decree what you want. I decree the agents to you, Paul said blind, your woman not be blind. He said, today, I decree, right now, this should happen. This should Say it the way you want it. Go ahead in the name of Jesus. Jesus mighty name. You may be seated. Then seven bold declaration. What did I say? As 14.3. Long time therefore both the speaking boldly in the Lord which gave them testimony unto the Lord of his grace and granted signs and wonders to be done by their hands. David spoke boldly. Spoke what? Against Goliath. And God gave him victory openly. So speak boldly for God to give you victory openly. He said, God is angry with the wicked. He said, be ye imitators of God. Don't stay there. Whatever is mocking your life is ending today. Yeah. Next time you want to talk, talk what? Boldly. Say, you devil, quiet, quiet there. Quiet! You can't, you can't dare me. Talk like that. So we are not being born. Eight, finally. Because this night... I want to give you some prayer points. Give you some what? 
Wickedness everywhere. When you go to America, don't do those kind of American prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus. I, I, I'm talking about in the name of Jesus. Wickedness is in everywhere. Africa wickedness is different. America wickedness is what? Asia wickedness everywhere. Asia. Somebody went for a crusade. People were in the air with their legs crossed like this. <laughs> suspended. That is not spiritual. Physically, they were suspended. Looking at the man who was doing crusade. <laughs> Wickedness is different, different level. Oh. So, <laughs> somebody wanted to do crusade in uh, Talaba. Talaba, is, is it Jalingo? Is it Jalingo they call Talaba? While he was trying to do crusade, a dog ran towards the speaker and the microphone. <laughs> they pushed the dog, the dog was running. Run, run, went, carried the wire, caught it. <laughs> Wickedness has different, different. Mm -hmm. the, America, oh, the wickedness is somebody can just carry gun and say he has psychotic problem. He will not go shoot people. They now say, well, the man had a psycho, psycho, psycho. You know, he didn't kill himself. The psycho should be into himself. He can't carry psycho to, to, to where people know where people are. So wickedness is, he said, the whole world, not the whole your country, the whole world. Look at it, the whole world, lion. So to be in this wicked world, not to operate this way, you won't survive. Oh, hey, do you know why church people, most church people have suffered? They don't, this part of Christianity is not known. They only know the part of, you know, Jesus is coming soon. Amen. 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 We go, go heaven. Amen. 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 But I tell you, Jesus will come. Oh, amen. Amen. If anybody will try me, oh, amen. <laughs> If you try me, I will, I will deal with you. <laughs> Amen. You know, go slap me. Amen. Amen. You know, go touch me. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Shout hallelujah. <laughs> That's the kind of Christianity me I like. I like that type. Number eight. <laughs> Is that what the man? To the three verse 19 to you. Okay, put it in number. He said, Behold, a wild wind of the Lord has gone forth in fury. Even a grievous wild wind, it shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. So declare, when you declare, wow! Oh, I mean, I mean. Prophetic battles. Prophetic what? That's the number eight weapon. Hosea 12, verse 13. It says, and by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt, and by a prophet was he preserved. You remember Moses said in Exodus 14, verse 13. Yahweh yeah, Moses said, and Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show you today. For the Egyptians whom you have seen today, you shall see them again no more forever. The same God who sent Moses sent me. Therefore, the adversaries you see today tormenting any aspect of your life and destiny, you shall see them no more again forever. I declare and I decree them all drowned in the red sea of divine vengeance. In the name of Jesus. How many are ready? I'm going to give you seven to eight prayer points. It covers almost every area of life. We have done the first set. You go, now you will be praying. This is prayer. This is what? Prayers to execute vengeance. Take the subject. Prayers to execute vengeance. This one. We have done theory, practical. Now we are going to enter prayer all through. Prayers to execute what? Take the prayer points. Studio will display the prayer points. I've given them already. Prayer point one. Vengeance against blockade and limitation. Vengeance against what? Things limiting you. You want to rise. You want to rise. You are going to pray. There are persons, marriages, families, businesses, careers, ministries, bound without making progress. Today you will call on God of vengeance to turn that situation around. I'm going to call that situation, turn it around. 
A. Pray to destroy all forms of bondage placed over your life. And legitimate endeavor, declare total liberty from such bondage. Two scriptures. Psalm 124, verse 7. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fallers. The snare is broken. We have what? Escaped. So Isaiah 45, 1 to 2. These are two scriptures used to pray. Thus said the Lord to his anointed, to Sarah, who is under my holding, to subdue nations before him, and I will lose the loins of kings. To open for him the little gates and the gates shall not be what? Short. I will go before my medical place straight and break peace the grace of brass and cause under the bars of iron. You are going to pray. All forms of bondage placed over my life, over my endeavors, I declare total what? Total what? Take one A. The one A is the prayer point. One A, not the scripture. Go ahead. Right. Okay, we'll place it. Go ahead. Look at the script. Look at the prayer point. Pray to destroy all forms. That thing that makes you not to lift your head. Today it must be what? Are you getting it? Rise up. You pray. I think you like prayer. You declare total what? Liberty from every bondage. Are you ready? Go ahead and pray for yourself in the name of Jesus. And pray for yourself. Whatever bondage be broken in the name of Jesus. Jesus' mighty name. B, one B. You will use the name of Jesus to destroy any obstacle. Any what? Limiting your progress in life and destiny. Pray to establish unhindered progress over all that concerns you, including the ministry God has placed in your hand. In Zechariah chapter 1, 18 to 21, then lift up my eyes and saw and behold four horns. And I said unto the angel that talked with me, what be this? And he answered me, these are the horns which have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. And Lord showed me four carpenters. Then said I, what come this to do? And he spake, saying, these are the horns which have scattered Judah. So no man did lift up his... You see your family, nobody's lifted. You are keeping quiet, do something. But these are the come to free them, to cast out the horns of the Gentiles, which lift up their horn over the land of what? Judah to scatter them. Philippians 2.10 That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow, of this in heaven, of this in earth, and this under the earth. You are going to use the name of Jesus Christ to destroy any obstacle. Any what? Is there anything that's an obstacle limiting me from making progress? How can the church you are pastoring since last year is one number? Something is wrong. Something is what? You should know forces have sought to limit you. Your business last year 50,000. This year 50,000. No! Break it! Are you ready? Go ahead. Look at the prayer point on the screen. Pray for your name of Jesus. Whatever is limiting from making progress. In the name of Jesus.
Jesus' mighty name. Prayer point two. Vengeance against badness. Vengeance against what? You are going with a holy anger. Prayer point two. With a holy anger, destroy every form of badness in your mind, body, business, or career. That stigmatize you. You ask the Holy Spirit to make you fruitful on all sides. On what? In Isaiah 54 verse 1, it says, Sing, O barren, that that did not bear. Break forth into singing and cry aloud, that that did not travel with child. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, saith the Lord. Genesis 1 to the 8. And God bless them and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply. Psalm 1 verse 3. He said, it shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring up for his fruit in the season. His leaves shall also shall not wither. And whatsoever you do, shall what? You will take vengeance. Anything that's making the work in your hand not to prosper. You will have been in one position for seven years. No promotion. Today it must come to an end. Your office, nothing to show. Your market, nothing. Today it must come to an end. You can't go to market and not sell. No, you must sell. You must what? You must be fruitful on Every side. You won't go for something and lose. You must make profit. Are you ready? Go ahead and profit yourself in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Open your mouth and pray. Jesus, mighty name. Prayer point three. Vengeance against denial of access. You want to gain access to somewhere, they stop you. Everybody they give visa. When it comes to your turn, they say, no, it must end today. With divine authority, command any gate or door shut against you. Deny your access to your inheritance. Be open. You decree undeniable access to your what? Inheritance. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 9, it says, For a great and effectual door is open unto me. There are many what? Adversaries. Joshua 6, 1 and 20. Now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. None went and none. Sometimes they make even policies to make sure that you don't have access. Intentionally, they make policies from people against a particular person. That is a door shut. That's a door what? It must open today. So the people shouted with the priest when the priest blew the trumpets. And it came to pass when the people heard the sound of the trumpet. And the people shouted with a great shout that the world fell down flat. Today every wall shall crumble. So the priest went up into the city. Every man straight before him and they took the city. Isaiah 60 verse 11. Therefore thy gates shall be open. They shall not be sure day nor night that men may bring unto thee. Now listen. That forces is wealth. Read the King James. That men may bring unto the wealth of sinners that their kings may be brought. Life story here. I was teaching on this kind of teaching. And a young girl was to work in the bank. When she got to the bank, interview time, they said no interview. The manager has employed his girlfriend. Then she came for this kind of meeting with anger. She said, now my position must not be taken. As she went back, they sacked the manager. Next man who came say, would call this have you call the young girl? That's the employer. She did the prayer Saturday morning, they deployed her. Something meant for you, they block it. Clear it. Vengeance against denial of assets. You must gain what? Assets. Are you ready? Go ahead in the name of Jesus.
Jesus mighty name. Don't worry, we are getting there. <laughs> At least what you used to say, I pray well. You don't see prayer now. Prayer number four. Pray, vengeance against demonic installations. Vengeance against what? You are going to pray to pull down and destroy every demonic installation plaguing your life, family, and destiny. Isaiah 49, 25, 26. For thus said the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. I'll contend with them that contended with thee and I'll save thy children. I'll feed them that oppressed thee with their own flesh. You know oppression? Pharaoh oppressed Israel. Hope you know. There are people who have vowed to oppress some people. Today they must clear. Those installations must crumble. And they shall be drunk with their own blood. As it with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I, the Lord, am thy Savior. And thy Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. Jeremiah 1 and verse 10. 10 and 9. 10 before 9. See, at this they said thee over the nations, over the kingdoms, to root out, to pull down, to destroy, to throw down, to build and to plant. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in the mouth. He has made us kings and what? We shall reign there. He said, you are chosen. Let me tell a life story. The biological family, before I got to my own family, where I came from, at the time, nothing was working. Nothing was working. The entire family was in a standstill. And I said, this is not normal. This is not God's plan. And I got angry. That's why I say pray with anger. I God, I said, God, this is not your plan. The whole family can't be on a standstill. I reacted with the holy anger. The family made like this. The entire family began to rise. You, some people have vowed. Their family is the only one man who have money, the whole family. And you, the man who have money will want everyone to beg from him. Even in societies, they do it. They hypnotize the rest. And then people will go to a church and be doing church thing without prayer. You will pray with anger. Every demonic installation against my life must be pulled down today. I cast you out. My family, my life, my business, the ministry must go up. Are you ready? Look at scripture. Go ahead in the name of Jesus. Demonic is cause in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. The last for this session. You have tried. I wrote 21 prayer, vengeance prayer points. I think I will give you free on your own. You take them one after the other. It covered almost every area of life. When you stay, 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 stay. Get up. 
throw the thing. <laughs> that way life will go better. Uh, if you go for contract, they want to do one kind. He say, okay, leave your seat. And another one, take your seat. Vengeance against evil men and women. That is the last prayer point. Vengeance against what? Now, let me give you the scriptures before I read the prayer point. Before I read the prayer point, so I think it's better. Psalm 7 verse 9. Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to the A path. Job 18, 5 to 6. Yea, the light of the wicked shall be put out. And the spark of his fire shall not shine. Is that your Bible? Okay, verse 6. The light shall be dark in his tabernacle. And his candle shall be put out with him. Isaiah 43 verse 4. Since thou was precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable, and I have loved it. Therefore will I give men for thee, and people for thy life. Anyone that says you die, God has changed. Psalm 55 verse 15. Let death seize upon them. Let them go down quick into hell. For wickedness is in their dwelling. Now you are going to pray to invoke God's wrath upon evil persons that have, has planned or is planning to attack you, your family, and all that concerns you through enemies, whether I'm robbery, assassination, cultism. Decree their judgment and destruction to manifest immediately. Are you ready? You don't know them, God knows them. Anywhere they are planning, in fact, if they are even planning us, we are praying. Finish them. If they are saying, let's attack finish them. Now, life story. Some people gathered together and said they should come and attack me that I talk too much. They said, what do we do to him? Attack him. So, they held a meeting. Life story held a meeting to attack me. Then they began to die one after the other. Then the young lady was the only one remaining. She was almost getting mad. So, she ran down. She said, sir, I came to confess. The whole people, I was the only woman amongst them. And I'm the only one remaining. All of them are dead. I don't want to die. I don't know if she's still alive till now. Then there's a cult. You all know the name. I don't want to distract you. This cult, for 10 years, we are going to a cemetery to invoke my name. Every day on a particular grave. They say I've disturbed them a lot. That I'm disturbing them too much. Some of you know the people. They said to stop them a lot. So they set up. They said, anything that you take, bring him down. So there were eight seers. I can't call them prophets, but they're not prophets. Eight native doctors, with doctors. And they were paid heavily to do that job. So seven died. One remaining. God will always keep one to come and tell a story. So the remaining one was sleeping when he heard a voice, go now and confess. Otherwise, you will die also. He woke up, nobody. So he knew that this is not a normal voice. So he came physically and said, This is what happened. It's on tape. It's not something we are just. It was a, in quote, one of their seers or one of their witch doctors. Top in that hierarchy. And we said, Why? He said, we, we, You worry us a lot. Every time you call our name, every time you worry us. So we say, He mentioned the people who gave you money, top people who in society, I laugh. Is he how you will know him? <laughs> He's not a member of the church. We led him to Christ as a member. All of them died, though. All of them what? I mean, that's the gospel I like. I like that gospel. If you don't like it, so you will not invoke God's wrath. On any evil person plan, that has planned, no, some of them have planned already, or is planning to attack you. The one that has planned, the one that is planning <laughs> to attack your family, or anything that concerns you, even your business, uh, decree judgment, decree what? And destruction to manifest immediately. Are you ready? Are you ready? Go ahead in the name of Jesus.
Jesus mighty name it is done it is done Whew. what a night before we close with the anointing which is going to be very short take the scripture so I don't miss anything Luke 21 to the 2 I'm supposed to use it at the end, but let me use it now. For this be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. He said, Lord, on this day of vengeance, everything written I have prayed, let it all be what? Everything on this day of vengeance, everything you have written I have prayed, all must be fulfilled. Are you ready to declare? He said, this be the days of vengeance. Are we today? This is the day of vengeance. All that all things which are written may be what? Lord, everything that is written that I have offered as prayers, plus the ones your son declared, let all be fulfilled in my life. Go ahead and decree. They must be fulfilled in my favor. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Every oil in your hand seems to be an ordinary oil. After David was anointed, the Spirit of God came upon him from that day forward. The Spirit of the living God came upon that oil in your hands in the name of Jesus. It shall come to pass in that day. Isaiah 10 to the 7. That day is today. That his body shall be taken away from off thy shoulder. And his yoke from off thy shoulder shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Thy yoke of stagnation shall be destroyed. Thy yoke of any marital spell over your family is destroyed today. of any oppression of the devil over your life is destroyed. Amen. Whatever is a yoke, whether I call the name on earth, in the name of Jesus by the Holy Ghost, that yoke is destroyed. Amen. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, shapeless, formless, no beauty to behold, and the Spirit of God began to move. There's only one Spirit, is the Spirit upon this oil. As this oil touches your head today, nowhere in life will darkness over stand on your way. Any kind of darkness that sat on your life, Including the church when you are anointed, that darkness will clear in the name of Jesus. Amen. Anywhere you are anointed from this moment with this oil, darkness will clear in the name of Jesus. Amen. Even the street you are anointed, darkness will clear in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your shop, your family, your life, darkness will clear in the name of Jesus. After darkness left, God said, let there be light. After this day, his glory come upon you and all that you anoint. 
whatever you say after this anointing will happen exactly. In the name of Jesus. We all saw from where we read in Isaiah 16 that the Holy Spirit is the spirit of judgment. Anything tormenting you, including sickness, by this anointing shall be judged. As God put a seal of protection over you, as this oil touches you and you carry the seal of the Holy Ghost, whoever is planning evil, this same oil shall destroy them. As it's a seal of protection, favor, preservation of your life, but anything contrary, the same force will rise up against them. I was ministering here and I said, when the enemy come in like a flood, the moment I said that, physical fire went to Goni land and caught a tree where they said they had over 1,000 names nailed on the tree for evil. As this oil touches you, look at it there. Physical fire brought down that tree, an evil tree. Fire from the Holy Ghost. Fire from where? Holy Ghost. It was the biggest tree in that place. Over 1,000 nails on that tree. Now, as this oil touches you, fire will destroy evil against your life. Any armed robber, as I say, hired killer, head killer, terrorist, that plan to attack you, I decree they be dead in the name of Jesus. Become a threat to the camp of the enemy. It's a seal of touch north. It says they went from one nation to another. From one kingdom to another. He allowed no man to be wrong. He reproved Christ and said, touch not my anointed. And do my prophets no harm. This oil on you make you a touch north. The aircraft you and I board must arrive. The car we enter must go safely. Where we are trekking, evil shall be far. Amen. The boat we enter will never capsize. Amen. We are taught not to all demons. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And so shall it be. Amen. This same oil shall be an oil of favor. Amen. Everywhere you go, favor shall follow you. Amen. The ministry of the Holy Ghost shall be made real. Amen. Sickness will clear instantly. Amen. Blessings will be upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Take a little and say in the name of Jesus. As I am anointed. All that has been declared. Will come to pass. In my life. And all that I will say. Will also come to pass. Now anoint yourself and begin to pray for yourself in the name of Jesus. for yourself in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Bring out the expectation form. Everything, those of you who have terminal cases, it will flood the system and make you clean. It has a fan to sweep your system. Everything you have written on that form is answered. Amen. We'll pray as a family. We'll pray as a what? Say, so you say, Lord, whatever anybody has written in line with your word, that's on the expectation form, must be in order of John chapter 16, 23, 24. 
Jesus prayed one prayer three times. Lord, you said the Father, whatever I ask in your name, you will do it. Everything he had granted to us. Let everything, not one person request will remain without being answered. Go, pray us prayer. Pray what? Not I prayer. Go ahead in the name of Jesus. Everything written on expectation from everyone. Answer all of us in the name of Jesus. Answer everyone in the name of Jesus. Answer everyone in the name of Jesus. Let everyone request be answered today. Let everyone request be answered today. Thank you, Father. And Jesus, mighty, lift it up to heaven. We stand as a family all over the world. Whatever any of us have written down, as long as it is in line with God's word, it is done. Amen. Not one thing you have written on that paper, as well from that will remain. All are answered in the name of Jesus. God does not withhold answers. He answers. Right now, not one, not one will remain without being an answer. Without, have, without receiving an answer in the name of Jesus. Amen. As we are prayed, so shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. You know why we give it to you? Because if you drop, you forget. So within the year, when it happens, okay, one, two, then you can testify. But if you drop it, you forget that. Some of you did this, you wrote, you have forgotten. Even the one on your paper said you forgot. So hold it. So when, when you begin to see testimonies, before this is over, all of them are answered. Amen. Beginning from this week, beginning from today, Amen. answers will start coming. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Tell God thank you because you must tell God thank you. I learned some of you didn't collect the sacrifice paper. They will, they will, they will display it. Studios display it so that they can take it from the screen. Display it so that they will, after, once you are closing, just copy it on the screen. We close with praise. We close with what? Enlarge it so that they can see it very well, please. Yeah, yeah. Can your eyes see that thing? This is one kind of. Just copy the bank, remove all those things, bring all the bank details. Zoom the bank details out, remove all the grammar. Zoom only the bank details out. Just remove the other side, only the bank details. <laughs> you can see it better now. Can't you see this side? You need glasses? Remove all these ones, just put the two banks, their details. I think it's enough. <laughs> or you go to the website. Person will won't give you, go find a way. If one give, go do it. Okay, now they don't show you. Now wait till you just squeeze again. Right. You have seen it now? Again, you know that way you want? Copy them all. All right, Psalm 149, 6 to 9. We close. That is the last. Psalm 149. Let the high praise of God be in their mouth. And a two-edged sword in their hand. To execute vengeance upon the heathen and upon the people. 
To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with the feathers of iron. To execute upon them the judgment. This one I have all this. Praise the Lord. Where I say, Lord, if there be anything remaining, which I don't know, I didn't pray well, execute. Clear it. I put the praise as a final bus stop. Finish. Five minutes. Heavy, all centers. Those of you who have instruments, your own. Let's go. Five minutes, we are done. Go ahead. He has done marvelous things. Almighty Amen. God, all marvelous God. Almighty God. Almighty God. Oh, powerful God. Almighty God. Oh, powerful God. You are worthy to receive all the praise.
There's only one thing remaining. Faith is in degrees. Faith is in what? It's as far as the person is a part of glory reign genuinely. Use the word what? Genuinely. That these prayers must work, the praise must work, all people must work in the favor of every. That if there are many bodies who is thinking of attacking any of us because the person is not there, all that we are that our faith is strong. The prayer we are praying cover the person and strike that person. And victory will be for every body. Go ahead in the name of Jesus. He said, be your brother's keeper. Every prayer we have prayed, every ministration, everything we have declared, they will work for every one of us. As long as that person came genuinely for this meeting, it will cover everyone in the name of Jesus, cover everybody who is genuinely connected. Go ahead. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Now, the prophetic with David Ibiomi. In the name of Jesus, God bless you. Go with the blessing. Shine toward the year 2023 and beyond this year. In Jesus' name. You are God's most prized possession. Your worth to Him is incomparable. Nothing can separate you from the love of God. Not the sin, not the pain, not your shame. Jesus says, All that the Father giveth to me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will no wise cast out. John chapter 6 verse 37 God is waiting for you with open arms come to him as you are he will give you life freedom peace transformation wherever you are pray this prayer after me say Lord Jesus come into my life I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior I believe in my heart that you died and rose from the dead to save me now with my mouth, I declare you Lord over my life. Thank you Father for saving me. In Jesus name.